Yes. Yes. There is difference between image formats. This is one thing I want us to understand very well. There are differences between image formats. Are we good? Yes. yes sir. Now, PNG is not the same as JPEG, and JPEG is not the same as JPG. And the same is GIF, SVG, .ICO. These are image extent. In fact, uh, before the next class, I'll need us to give me at least 10 image <laughs> extensions. Everybody must give me two at least. Not PNG, not JPEG, the regular ones we know. There are a lot of extensions that a lot of us will get to use it if we go in depth of graphics. Now, all of these images we are seeing here, they are all PNGs. That is, if you take them anywhere, there won't be background on them. Okay? Yes, sir. And the full meaning of PNG is portable network graphics. Okay? So these are the little, little things they will want you to know as a graphic designer. Now, this is the strawberry. You can see the strawberry here. Yes. Uh -huh. So I already have it. I, I've gotten it from Google. Um, let us open a new tab. Shortcut for that is, is Control N. Oh, I've not shared my screen on um, Photoshop. You can you can see my screen now, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Open a new a new document for our design. So for this now, who can tell me the size of that document that we I use for that strawberry? Looking at its um, resolution, who can tell me the, the kind of document I use there. Let me see who will catch me on this. Uh, 1080. What is 1080, sir? We have A5, we have, we have A4, we have A3, we have A6, we have um, leather. So, so what, what do we call it again? Should we call it strawberry? Call it class, class work, are we? Yes. yes sir. So we are not changing anything. We are using the default A5. Everything is perfect. So click on create. Now we have a uh, AY document. Please, I'll be a little bit fast so, so that we can watch the video. Okay? It will be better we'll finish up than the, the time working up out on now. So now this is the first one. The first thing you do is now look at look at the strawberry. We need the background. But that background is not important now. We can always do that later. Okay? There's a, there's a sound from your... I don't know if it's from your background. You can hear it. Sound? Yes, it's sound? Yes, it's sound now. It's somebody that is close to a, a very high electromagnetic device. Techno POP1 Pro, please welcome. Can you enable your mic and introduce yourself? Meanwhile, the class continues until until you are able to fix yourself. This class is recorded. Now you can see there is a background, right? Hello. Yes. Okay. Now, okay, I'll just continue. Now that there is a background, what I'll do first is I'll bring in my strawberry, which is the first thing. I'll go where my strawberry is. I'll come and introduce it here. Now you see my strawberry is here. I'll make sure it's it's big enough for me to have a good look at it. Is this strawberry sharp enough? No. Not sharp. No. Not sharp enough, are we? Yes. Is it good enough? Mm, yeah. uh, to me, this strawberry is, is out of it. So let me get another better sharper strawberry. That's why my Google tab is always open. I'll just type strawberry PNG or strawberry.png, anyone you type to bring to bring um, image search for you. Then just click on your image search. And you go and look for PNG strawberry and you get your PNG strawberry. I like strawberries. Who likes strawberry else again? 
first like strawberry. So, so, so. So these are the little things we need to know and do. Know how to get your images, know how to get the right image. So I've, I've pasted an, a strawberry here, so I'll disable the background Let me, so that I will know whether it, it is having a background or not. You can see now the strawberry is having a background, right? Yeah. Yes. So once I scale it up to what I want, here's what I will do. Now this is what I will do. I will come to my toolbar under this uh, this um, er eraser. I will press and hold. Then I will go to background eraser, the last option. Then I will just click on this white place. It goes off. You can see this one is very fast and quick. You can see we have our our clean strawberry back. So this is our strawberry. Oh, somebody trying. To Sorry, please. Jump. How did you paste? How were you able to paste the strawberry on your screen? I just copied it from space. the internet. I just copied and I copied and it control from. Control V. Yeah, Control V. Just did Control V. Why is it not working here? Just copy from the internet where you saw it. Then come to your workspace. Then just press Control V. It will paste it automatically. All right, when we are done with that, just readjust. The next thing we are going to do is, I'll bring back my background. So I'm sure that there's no background here. So what I will do now, we are going to slice this strawberry, just the way these layers are. You see, this is one, two, three. I'm going to slice it into three places, okay? So listen and watch carefully. I want to start slicing. Now, what, what do I use in slicing? I'll use my pen tool. Now, don't mind you, anytime you, cl you click on pen tool, always watch up here. Now, watch up here. This place, it either is on shape or parts. If it's on shape, you want to create shape. If it's on parts, you just want to create parts. Now, you, you start seeing the difference. So, see what I'm doing. I've cut from that place. I'll join it. Then, Are we together? Let me not be doing this thing too fast. Too. If I did yeah, anything you are not getting, just call my attention back. And when, you, when you've joined it, just right click anywhere. Then you say, make selection. Then click OK. Then you start blinking. Then you press Control X. Okay, that is copy. Cuts. X is cuts. Is anybody okay. opening his um, his uh, um, Photoshop? Are you doing what I'm doing? Let me be sure somebody is following me. Is somebody following me? I've said that I'm loading it so on my system. Yes, I'm following, but I'm finding it difficult to paste an image in my workspace, yeah? Control V and Control V is not you working. Okay, this is, can you, can you see my internet? Can you see my web page? No, mine is not from, the, mine is not from my internet. It's just from, it's just an image, yeah? Just from okay. Image. Once you right click on this image, just copy. Then you go back. To your Photoshop, just press Control V on the on this blank space. Just press Control V. Uh, 
as he pasted. It has not pasted. Don't worry. I'm pulling up with, with a shape. I'm using a shape instead. Why is it a shape? Mm, just a rectangle. Just a yeah, sure. So, are you done? I'm at this level that you are now. So now you saw what I did. Yes. No. How did you cut it? Sorry. You see that. Okay, I will undo. I will come back. Yes, yes. I'll seven. pretend as if we didn't yeah. do anything. Now to cut this, I was just waiting for you to say you've pasted. And to cut this, take your pen to remove any any background uh, blah 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 that may be there. Then your pen to will surface. Then you just click. Let's say you click here, click and hold, then drag. I was expecting question. You will see me, you will see my my own will click and it will turn to curve. It's because I'm not leaving it. Then if I want to cut it, I'll just come here. Oh, time is even running out. I'll just come here. I'll press alternate key down and click this place. It will cut it there. Then I'll just continue clicking like this. Then when I click like that, like that, like that, and I join it back, you see everything is selected. Then I'll just right click here. I'll say make selection. I'll click OK. Okay. When I click OK now, I will just do Control X. You see, it is gone. Then I will do Control V back. It has pasted. Then I will drag it. I will drag this uncle. And I will drag this uncle up a little bit. You have seen that? Yes. Yeah. Now, the same way we did the first one is the same way we are going to do the second one. Forget alignment for now. When we've done what we want to do, we'll do alignment. So what's the difference between shape selection and shape selection? Now, uh, this is what we are doing now. We are creating a shape, a shape. Now, when we want to cut an image, like you want to remove a background from an image, you use parts. But when you are creating a custom shape, so we'll still do that. Maybe tomorrow we'll change a background of, of a picture, complete background. Okay, sir. So you can see that we are cutting it gradually. Yes, yes sir. Even if this class closes, just come to the group. Thank all of us are in one group. I will reshare the link. I want to finish this. If you can do this, this manipulation, then you will not really have problem with other manipulations. It will just be the same thing, but different way. Now watch what I'm doing closely. So the next one is, we'll slice the last one, right? Yes, sir. So the last one to be sliced, still the same process. But this one, this time around, is, is going to be straight. Just as if you use knife and cut something very direct. You understand? Yes, sir. That's why I'm not bending it. So when you do that, the next thing you do, you right click. You make selection, just click on OK. okay. Then you select this, then Control X, Control V. Now we are good. I'll just bring this guy up. And I'll I'll reduce I'll reduce my guy small. What do you say? You said? Which key did you press to reduce it? It's just, I'll bring the, my mouse to the side. 
then I'll I'll take it inside like that. My problem. You said? Go ahead. Go ahead. Now we can see that we've successfully done the slicing, right? See, yeah. the, the more you slice, the more your layers increase, okay? Yes, so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to bring splash, strawberry splash. So why I will do everything from scratch is because I want you to understand how I, I went about getting all these things. So you can see my 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 uh, Google now, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Hope you can see that. Yes. Yes, sir. So we just scroll down. We look for a splash that looks alike. Once you click it, you start getting other splashes. So you can see that design cannot be fun if you don't have if you don't have the right um, internet. Because you can't be doing very serious design. Your internet is falling in your hand. It won't be nice. So you look for splash. You can see we are we are getting there gradually. So you just look for splash. Just have to find it anywhere it is. This one is not looking real. So you can see that the more we search, the more we get real splashes. This one is having a watermark. We are not going to use it. This one also is having a watermark. Why, sir? Is there they are, they are stock images now? That's why we can't use it. You want to design and your client to be seeing all this all this stock and watermark on it. Okay, okay, okay. Say it now. You understand now? Yes, sir. Now look at this splash. This one we can use this one. Yeah, we can use this one. So I'll just right click and what copy. I'll not save, sorry, I'm not supposed to save it to, to bring a dialogue boss. I'm just supposed to copy as the, that's the advantages we have copy image then go back to our photoshop and i'm pasting it here you can see it's there right yes um, excuse me yes, yeah how do you get yeah. images from on splash.com you can still check it out me i just want something that will be more realistic okay now we have we have this splash. You can see it's, it's an image on its own, and it's having a background. So the same thing I did. Go to eraser. Go to where's my eraser? Go to eraser. Go to magic eraser to the last option. The last option. So just click. Did you see what happened? Yes. Yeah. See. Erase the background. Yes. You can you can see it's just the splash that is here now. Mm. Yeah. So we don't need it now. We're not doing we're not doing this now. First. If you watch this um, strawberry, you see that this um, the strawberry, the surface that was cut is not just left like that. It was covered, right? Yes. Yeah. Making it look like as if it's real. Yes, sir. So we are going to cover that. So what we'll do is we'll do ellipse. Ellipse to click and drag. Then I'm going to be zooming in so that we'll see a very nice proportion of it. So I'll be, I'll be closing that so that we can see what we are doing. So we, so why are we not seeing that? Is because we are not, we didn't drop any background. 
So we'll drop the, we'll drop, um, I mean, outline. It's supposed to be an outline so that you see what you are doing. So come, we do like this. Try to drag it out. Hope you are seeing what I'm doing, Sha. Drag it out. Okay, the next thing you do is you fill that thing with color. So what will be the color? Click on this black. What is going to be the color? What is going to be the color? So just click here. Click this. Then I will pick this color. Did you see that? Yes, sir. So you pick your, your, your shape to again. So you come, you bring it closer. Now we can see it very well, right? Yes, sir. Yes. So I'll remove the borderline. So now the, there is no borderline here, right? Uh, please, how did you remove the borderline, please? Okay. There is a borderline. Yes. So you just click on the ellipse. This will come up. This this stroke here is for borderline. Okay. When you click this red cancel, it means none. When you click this, this is for fill. So that is how it is.